Crow Canyon is initiating the Northern Chaco Outliers project, and this year will be our first year of excavation at the Haney site. And we're looking to address interesting research design questions that have to do with the nature and extent of Chaco influence in the Northern San Juan region. So I think this is going to be a really exciting project for our participants because this is one of the few sites where you can see standing architecture. And this architecture is multi-storied. It has amazing Chacoan influences, including core and veneer, beautiful walls. Um, we don't have to explain as much about what sites used to look like because our participants will be able to stand in the site and visualize this in ways that we've never been able to do in the past. The Research Institute at Crow Canyon was created to do three things. To conduct new research in all three of Crow Canyon's mission areas. To connect Crow Canyon staff with researchers from throughout the world. And to design research projects that are relevant to the world today. My favorite institute project is the Pueblo Farming Project, or PFP. I love this project because it integrates all three of Crow Canyon's mission areas and because it demonstrates Crow Canyon's commitment to partnerships with American Indians. The PFP was co-designed and implemented through a partnership between the Hopi Cultural Preservation Office and Crow Canyon. It conducts research that examines how annual changes in precipitation and temperature affect crop yields. It then takes those research results and translates them into educational curriculum. And finally, it addresses Hopi goals by documenting their agricultural practices and by demonstrating their affiliation to the Mesa Verde region. What Crow Canyon does through the Cultural Exp Exploration Program uh, provides people that really hands-on uh, intimate knowledge about what these places represent, not just from the academic standpoint, but also by bringing along Native American scholars, you're able to get that one-on-one -on -one dialogue about what these mean to modern day descendant communities out there. The first time we thought of this idea and to do an actual outreach to a community, we thought of Zuni. They let us know that, well, this is our priority, one. And that one priority was the Kiva project. We go about that by taking a full assessment of all the kivas and what their needs are. But as it turned out, uh, they were all in severe need of restoration. The goal of this is to be successful in what we're going to do as part of revitalizing the culture to where it will be sustaining into the future. Crow Canyon was just the best fit that we could actually come together, review this, and see the reality of what we can do. And I think it's a great effort that nobody in America really has done either. And I, I think it, it goes um, to both worlds about then making the best of both worlds work. Hi, I'm Thea Gatlin. I'm a freshman at Boston University, majoring in archaeology, and I'm an alum of the Crow Canyon High School Field School. In the summer of 2015, I was a teenager with a passion for archaeology and an aspiration to someday turn that passion into a career, but with no field experience. Crow Canyon changed that for me, and in doing so, they also changed the course of my life. And I hope to someday go into the field of indigenous archaeology specifically. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll return to Crow Canyon for good. Who knows? So keep it up, guys. I'm proud of you. Your gift means more of today's future leaders will experience Crow Canyon and the spark of discovery that awakens curiosity, inspires wonder, and opens minds. Thank you for your support of Crow Canyon.